Hello and welcome to a Smurd P video and today we are looking at Power Rangers Lightning Collection Wave 5 Zeo Gold Ranger. Um, now, I, I tend just to buy the waves, um, but this one is one that I was really umming and ahhing about because I have the San Diego version. Why do I want this? And the answer is, I don't, other than it comes with a, a tray head, which I, I find is pretty damn cool, not that I would probably ever pose him with that head, but, um, sorry, there's the Power Rangers Zero sign, but, um, it just felt, you know what, if I'm going to be a completist with this, completist with this series, I've got to get it, end of story, so I did, here it is, <sighs> let's get him out, so, Personally, I think Hasbro uh, did a good thing by releasing this figure as a standalone figure because not everybody who, who's a collector um, went and bought the San Diego version of the Zero Gold Ranger 2-pack um, and not everybody was interested in, in the Jason figure in there. So I think it's, it's nice for this to be released um, separately and, you know, I mean, I mean the detail on there is really top-notch work and, and I'll show the the two gold rangers together I like that bit under there that looks really really nice very nice come on focus you can see some beautiful beautiful detail in there the helmet is fantastic so I think it's 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 really nice that they've done this um, I guess my my biggest gripe comes down to accessories you only get this Zeo staff if it will focus with the figure. Now that it to me is is a big big letdown. Um, you get nice effect with it. You get some punchy hands and you get a tray head, which I think is cool. I would have just preferred a tray figure in in his um, civilian kind of costume because I thought that was pretty badass and you know you would just want to buy three so there was three of them because you know they were triplets triplets that turn into one uh yeah it's all bizarre and it's been a while since I watched Zio now the reason I, I I've griped about this because I think it's unfair that when you've got the other mold which is here why wouldn't you give this why wouldn't you do that um it just seems lazy. Even if they charge the, an extra quid for, or whatever it is they needed to make it a viable um, shot. In fact, you know what? This is completely different. Damn it! I what the earth is this? Right. So. <laughs> With the San Diego Comic Con, you get this one, which is the closed bit, and this is up. With the next one, you get this down, and this is open in, in firing mode. And then the third one, which comes with tray, is it's open, but this is up. That is so cool. I was hoping you can move it. And it probably won't seem so cool then. But wow! I never realized that. So... Another reason, I guess, for people to want to go get it is for the extra piece, which is that. So, um, now we've got over that surprise. Um, let's get in the other Gold Ranger. Now, I guess from my perspective is, this gold is darker in tone. This is a little bit more, um, uh, what's the word I'm looking for? I'm probably not gonna find it, but I'm um, pretty much everything. Oops, that's never a good start. Everything else seems to be very similar in terms of this figure, just a, a slight difference color. I'm not even sure you can see that on camera. Um, I'm not sure how obvious that is. I'm hoping you can see that. This just it's just a little tone, tone dark, which which I enjoy actually. I actually like that. So, um, not much difference there, I guess, other than tone difference in color. And, um, well, at least I know how I recognize the, the difference between them. In 
and here is Trey holding his snuff with the little lightning effect on there. Um, as I always say, it's not a big deal, the, the effect. I think it's a nice gimmick, but it's not one that I'm really interested in. Um, however, I, I've seen some of the way that people use them, and, you know, they can look quite spectacular. If you're, you're into that, sometimes get a bit lazy and, and don't spend the time creating a, a scene, I guess is the word I'm looking for. I think the head scope is kind of cool. I think it does look... Uh, all right, um, it does look like the character Trey. Um, I can't remember the actor that played him, um, and it was probably only a minimum role anyway. Um, it was always quite bizarre because um, Trey played uh, the character without the helmet, but it was the guy um, who who was in VR Troops, I think. Uh, I'm trying to think of his name. It will come back to me later, but I'm pretty sure that he voiced the character when. It was just a, a um, Japanese footage, etc. So um, I found that interesting. And then obviously we got Jason back as well. So that was pretty awesome. So um, I think it's kind of nice that they've given us this figure. Um, you know, just give us this head and this um, extra stuff, um, which I, I really wasn't expecting. My reaction is is real on this, this camera. Um, so I, I feel like... I could have done without him, but it's nice to have him at the same time. So um, I'm going to leave it at that. If you bought him, did you buy the San Diego Comic Con and skip this figure? Or did you decide, you know what, I want both? Um, let me know. And like, comment, I've just said that. And subscribe. <laughs> follow my Facebook page, P, And follow me on Twitter, at P. And as always, embrace the geekiness. Take care. Goodbye.